Well, dangerous clinging jellyfish have been found creeping in the waters off the Jersey Shore. People who plan to spend time along the back bays are being warned to watch out for the invasive creature. Action News reporter Katie Cacho is live in Ventnor tonight with more on this latest threat. Katie. Rick, an expert we spoke with, said that they're mainly spotted at the top and bottom of the state, but he says really anywhere in between is fair game. I wasn't really a big beach person to begin with, so it kind of just gives me another concern and a reason to not come to the beach, honestly. For some who like to vacation at the Jersey Shore, what's lurking in the water could be a concern. It's concerning, especially for the kids, of course. If you're swimming in a back bay at the Jersey Shore, there's a possibility a clinging jellyfish might be there, according to a marine biologist we spoke with. Most recently, they were found all the way down in sort of the Stone Harbor, um, uh, Cape Bay uh, area down in the second thoroughfare bridge. Dr. Paul Bologna says if you get stung, you won't feel the powerful effects till hours later. They should be pretty concerned if they're out in the back bays, especially in the shallow water where there's a lot of vegetation, whether it's algae or seagrass, because these guys have a really bad sting. Sometimes the dangerous sting in extreme cases can lead to kidney failure. Oftentimes four or five hours afterwards, somebody you know, heads to the hospital because they're in incredible pain. They've got these paralysis toxins that sort of course do somebody's body. A lieutenant with Ventnor Beach Patrol says now that he knows about these clinging jellies, he's going to get the ball rolling on what he needs. We happen to be very lucky that the emergency room in Atlantic City is two minutes away, so we could you know transport fairly quickly. Now, you shouldn't see them in rough ocean waters. If you do spot a clinging jellyfish, you should contact the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. Reporting live in Ventnor, Katie Catro, Channel 6, Action News. Shari. All right, Katie, thank you.